The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Habakkuk. Then Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision down. Inscribe it on tablets to be easily read. For the vision is for its appointed time. It hastens toward its end, and it will not lie. Although it may take some time, wait for it. For come, it certainly will before too long. You see, anyone whose heart is not upright will succumb, but the upright will live through faithfulness. And our response is take from Psalm 95. Come, let us cry out with joy to Yahweh, acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, acclaim him with music. Come. Let us bow low and do reverence. Kneel before Yahweh who made us. For he is our God and we the people of his sheepfold, the flock of his hand. If only you would listen to him today. Do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as at the time of Massa in the desert when your ancestors challenged me put me to the test and saw what I could do. And our second reading is taken from the second letter of the Apostle Paul to Timothy. This is why I am reminding you now to fan into a flame of the gift of God that you possess through the laying on of my hands. God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power and love and self-control. So you are never to be ashamed of witnessing to our Lord or ashamed of me for being his prisoner. But share in my hardships for the sake of the gospel, relying on the power of God. Keep as your pattern the sound teaching you have heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. With the help of the Holy Spirit who dwells in us, look after that precious thing given in trust. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The Apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord replied, if you had faith like a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Which of you, with a servant plowing or minding sheep, would say to him when he returned from the fields, come, have your meal at once? Would he not more likely say, go, Get my supper ready? Fasten your belt and wait on me while I eat and drink? You yourself can eat and drink afterward. Now must he be grateful to the servant for doing what he was told? So with you. When you have done all that you have been told to do, Say this, we are useless servants. We have done no more than our duty. The Gospel of the Lord.